My beloved child, I know that you have been going through difficult times. I see the tears you've shed in the quiet of the night, the moments when your heart felt so heavy that you wondered if you could carry on. I am here to tell you today that your pain is not in vain. Every tear, every struggle, every hardship you endure has a purpose far greater than you can imagine. I know it's hard to see it now, but trust that I am working in your life in ways that will bring about a greater good. You may be questioning why you have to go through these trials. You might feel abandoned or think that I have turned away from you, but I want you to know that I am closer to you now than ever before. I am with you in your pain, holding you, guiding you, and molding you into the person I created you to be. Pain is never easy, and I do not take pleasure in seeing you hurt, but I know the strength that will come from this process. Think of the diamond, my child. It begins as a rough, unremarkable stone, but through intense pressure and heat, it transforms into a gem of incredible beauty and value. Your life is much like that diamond. The pressures and struggles you face are shaping you, refining you, and bringing out the beauty that lies within you. Without this process, the diamond would remain hidden its beauty and potential never realized. So too, would the depths of your character and strength remain unseen without the challenges you face? Type if you believe in Christ. My child, do not fear the fire of trials, for it is in the fire that the impurities are burned away. Just as gold is refined by fire, so your faith and character are being refined. You are being purified, made stronger, and prepared for the purpose I have for you. What you are going through now is not without reason. I am preparing you for something greater, something that requires the depth of faith and strength that can only be formed through adversity. In your moments of deepest pain, remember that I have a plan for your life, a plan for good and not for disaster, to give you a future and a hope. You may not understand the why behind your pain right now, but trust that there is a why, and it is rooted in my love for you. Every step you take through this valley is a step closer to the fulfillment of my promises to you. There is purpose in your pain because it is part of your testimony. Others are watching your journey, and your perseverance in the face of adversity will inspire them to find strength in their own struggles. You will become a beacon of hope, showing others that even in the darkest times, I am with them. Your story will be a testament to my power to bring beauty from ashes, to bring joy out of sorrow, and to turn mourning into dancing. My child, I am not a distant God. I am your loving Father, who knows every detail of your life. I know the number of hairs on your head, the thoughts in your mind, and the desires of your heart. I see you, and I am intimately aware of everything you are going through. Nothing escapes my notice, and nothing is outside of my control. The pain you are experiencing is not a surprise to me. In fact, I have woven it into the fabric of your life story, knowing that it will lead you to a deeper understanding of my love and purpose for you. Type yes to affirm. When you feel overwhelmed, Remember that I am your refuge and strength, an ever-present help in trouble. When you feel like you cannot go on, lean on me. I will carry you through. My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in your weakness. You do not have to bear this burden alone. Cast all your cares on me, for I care for you deeply. Let me take your pain and turn it into something beautiful. Your pain is not the end of your story, my child. It is a chapter, one that will lead to new beginnings. The night may be dark, but the dawn is coming. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Trust in my timing, for I am never late. I know what is best for you, and I am working all things together for your good. In this season of pain, I am teaching you to trust me more deeply. I am showing you that even when you cannot see the path ahead, I am guiding you. 
I am teaching you to walk by faith, not by sight. This is a journey that will strengthen your trust in me and deepen your relationship with me. Through this, you will come to know me in ways you never have before. You will see that I am faithful, that I am good, and that I am able to do immeasurably more than you could ask or imagine. So, my dear child, do not lose heart. Your pain has a purpose. It is preparing you for the glorious future I have in store for you. It is shaping you into the person I created you to be, and it is bringing you closer to me. Hold on to my promises. Keep your eyes on me, and let me lead you through this valley. Remember, you are not alone. I am with you always, to the very end of the age. Take comfort in knowing that I am working in your life, even in the midst of pain. What you are going through now will not last forever. The pain will subside, the wounds will heal, and you will emerge stronger, wiser, and more deeply rooted in my love. I love you, my child. You are precious to me, and your pain is not wasted. Trust in me, for I am your God, and I am making all things new in your life. I am turning your pain into purpose, your trials into triumphs, and your struggles into testimonies of my goodness and grace. Keep going, my beloved. The best is yet to come. Type him in if you love God. My beloved child, as you journey through this life, there will be moments when you feel like the weight of the world is on your shoulders. You may feel crushed by the burdens you carry, the fears that plague your mind, and the uncertainty of what lies ahead. But I want you to know that I am with you in every step you take. I am the one who upholds you when you feel like you cannot stand, and I am the one who carries you when you feel like you cannot move forward. In these times of pain and struggle, I am calling you to draw closer to me. It is in these moments that your faith is strengthened and your character is developed. I am using this time to deepen your reliance on me, to teach you to trust in my provision, and to show you that I am your source of strength. I am teaching you that even in the midst of pain, you can find peace in me. My peace, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your heart and mind in Christ Jesus. Do not be afraid of the storms that rage around you. I am the one who calms the storm with a word, and I can bring peace to your troubled heart. When the waves of life seem too high, remember that I am the one who walks on water. I am not shaken by the storms, and neither should you be. Keep your eyes on me, and I will guide you safely through. Your pain is not a punishment, my child. It is a process, one that is refining you and preparing you for greater things. You see, I have a plan for your life that is filled with hope and a future. I know the plans I have for you, and they are plans to prosper you and not to harm you. But in order to fulfill those plans, I must prepare you. This preparation often comes through the fire of trials, where your faith is tested and your endurance is built. The road ahead may not always be easy, but know that I have gone before you. I have walked the path that you are on, and I know every twist and turn. I know where the dangers lie, and I know where the blessings are hidden. I am leading you on this journey, and I will not let you fall. Trust in my guidance, for I know the way. When you face challenges, remember that I am greater than anything you will ever encounter. I am the God who created the heavens and the earth, and there is nothing too difficult for me. The mountains that seem so high, the valleys that seem so deep, the obstacles that seem so insurmountable, they are all under my control. I am the one who moves mountains, and I am the one who makes a way where there seems to be no way. Take comfort in knowing that your pain is temporary, but the glory that will be revealed in you is eternal. The suffering you endure now cannot compare to the joy that is coming. I am working in your life, not just for the moment, but for eternity. I am preparing you for a glory that far outweighs any pain you may experience in this life. My child, 
I want you to know that your pain is also a tool in my hands to reach others. Through your experiences, I am equipping you to minister to those who are going through similar trials. You will be able to offer comfort to others with the same comfort you have received from me. Your story will be a source of hope and encouragement to those who are hurting, and through your testimony, many will come to know my love and grace. Remember, I am the God who redeems. I take what the enemy meant for evil, and I turn it for good. I take the broken pieces of your life, and I create something beautiful. Nothing is wasted in my hands. Your pain, your struggles, your disappointments, they all serve a greater purpose in my plan for your life. I am not finished with you yet, my child. What you are experiencing now is not the end of your story. It is merely a chapter, and the next chapter is filled with hope, healing, and restoration. I am the author and finisher of your faith, and I am writing a story that will glorify me and bring you joy. Hold on to me, for I am your strength. When you feel weak, know that my strength is made perfect in your weakness. When you feel like giving up, remember that I am your perseverance. I will give you the endurance you need to run the race set before you. I will give you the courage to face each day with hope, knowing that I am with you. Do not be discouraged, my child, for I am with you. I will never leave you nor forsake you. I am the good shepherd who leads you beside still waters and restores your soul. Even when you walk through the valley of the shadow of death, you need not fear, for I am with you. My rod and my staff, they comfort you. I am your protector, your provider, your healer, and your sustainer. There is nothing you will face in this life that I cannot handle. I am your refuge and fortress, your God in whom you can trust. When you feel overwhelmed, run to me. I am your safe place, your strong tower. I will shelter you under my wings, and you will find refuge in my love. My child, lift up your eyes and see that I am doing a new thing in your life. The pain you are experiencing now is the beginning of something beautiful. I am birthing new life, new dreams, and new opportunities in you. Do not dwell on the former things. Do not cling to the past. Look forward, for I am making a way in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland. Your pain has a purpose, and that purpose is to bring you closer to me, to refine your faith and to prepare you for the future I have planned for you. Trust in my love for you, for it is unfailing. Trust in my plans for you, for they are good. Trust in my timing, for it is perfect. I love you, my child, with an everlasting love. You are precious to me, and nothing you go through will ever change that. I am with you in your pain, and I will be with you in your victory. The best is yet to come. Hold on to me, for I am holding on to you. I am your God, and you are my beloved child. Together, we will walk through this valley and emerge victorious. Your pain has a purpose, and that purpose is to bring about my perfect will in your life. Trust in me, for I am faithful, and I will complete the good work I have begun in you. My beloved child, as you continue this journey of life, understand that every season has its purpose. Just as the earth experiences the changing seasons, spring, summer, autumn, and winter, your life, too, will go through cycles of growth, harvest, decline, and renewal. Each of these seasons plays a critical role in shaping you into the person I have destined you to become. In the seasons of growth, you will experience my blessings in abundance. Your faith will flourish, your joy will overflow, and you will feel my presence in every moment. These are the times when you will see the fruits of your labor, and your heart will rejoice. But understand, my child, that growth often begins with planting, and planting requires breaking the soil. The soil of your heart must be tilled, turned over, and sometimes even broken, to make room for new growth. 
This process can be painful, but it is necessary for the seeds of faith, hope, and love to take root and flourish. During the seasons of harvest, you will gather the blessings that have been nurtured in the soil of your faith. These are the moments when you will see the results of your perseverance and trust in me. The joy of harvest is a foretaste of the eternal rewards that await you in my kingdom. But remember, my child, that after the harvest, the fields must rest. There will be times when it seems that all is quiet, that the land lies fallow, and that nothing is happening. But even in these quiet seasons, I am at work, preparing the soil of your life for the next season of growth. In the seasons of decline, when the leaves fall and the days grow short, you may feel as though everything is slipping away. It may seem that the vibrant life you once knew is fading, and the darkness of uncertainty is closing in. But do not fear, my child. Just as the earth must go through a time of rest and renewal, so must your soul. These seasons of decline are not the end. They are a necessary part of the cycle of life. The old must pass away to make room for the new. Trust that I am with you in these times, guiding you through the changes and preparing you for the next season. And then there are the seasons of winter, when everything seems cold and barren. These are the times when you may feel the sting of loneliness, the chill of loss, and the stillness of waiting. It is easy to believe that I am distant or that I have forgotten you in these times, but I assure you, my child, that I am closer than ever. Winter is not a time of death, but a time of rest. It is a time for the deep roots of your faith to grow stronger, for the foundations of your trust in me to be fortified. In the stillness of winter, I am at work beneath the surface, preparing you for the new life that will burst forth when spring arrives. My child, each of these seasons has its challenges, but each also has its purpose. In every season, there is something to learn, something to gain, and something to share. In the seasons of growth, you learn the joy of abundance. In the seasons of harvest, you gain the rewards of your labor. In the seasons of decline, you learn to let go and trust in my plan. And in the seasons of winter, you learn the value of rest and the strength of quiet faith. Do not rush through these seasons, my child. Embrace them, for they are all part of the journey I have laid out for you. I am with you in each one, guiding you, teaching you, and drawing you closer to me. There is beauty in every season, even in the ones that seem harsh or difficult. Look for the beauty, my child, for it is there waiting to be discovered. As you walk through these seasons, remember that I am the God of all seasons. I am the one who causes the sun to rise and set, the one who brings the rain and the snow, the one who controls the winds and the waves. There is nothing in this world, nothing in your life, that is outside of my control. Trust in my sovereignty, for I am working all things together for your good. When you face the storms of life, know that I am the one who speaks to the wind and the waves, saying, Peace, be still, and the storm obeys. The storms in your life, no matter how fierce, are no match for my power. I am with you in the midst of the storm, and I will bring you through to the other side. Do not be afraid, my child, for I am your refuge and your strength an ever-present help in trouble. There will be times when the path ahead seems unclear, when you cannot see the next step. In these times, trust that I am guiding you, even when you cannot see the way. I am the light to your path and the lamp to your feet. I will lead you, step by step, through the darkness, until you reach the place I have prepared for you. In the moments when you feel weak, Remember that my strength is made perfect in your weakness. You do not have to rely on your own strength, for I am your source of power. When you are weak, I am strong. When you are weary, I am your rest. When you are burdened, I am your peace. 
Come to me, my child, and let me give you rest. My beloved, your life is in my hands, and nothing can snatch you out of them. I hold you close to my heart, and I will never let you go. I know the plans I have for you, and they are plans for good, not for harm. Plans to give you a future and a hope. Trust in my plans, for they are perfect, and they are tailored specifically for you. As you continue on this journey, keep your eyes fixed on me. Do not be distracted by the cares of this world, the worries of tomorrow, or the regrets of the past. Keep your focus on me, and I will keep you in perfect peace. I am your anchor in the storm, your guide in the wilderness, and your light in the darkness. Remember, my child, that you are not alone. I am with you always, to the very end of the age. I am the one who goes before you, the one who walks beside you, and the one who follows after you. I am your protector, your provider, your healer, and your friend. There is nothing you will face that I have not already overcome. Your pain has purpose, my child. It is not the end, but the beginning of something beautiful. I am working in your life, even now, to bring about my perfect will. Trust in me, for I am faithful, and I will bring to completion the good work I have begun in you. Rest in my love, my child. Know that I am with you, and I will never leave you. Your pain is not wasted. It is part of the story I am writing for your life. A story that will bring me glory and bring you joy. Hold on to me, for I am holding on to you, and I will never let you go. My child, your pain has purpose. Trust in me, and let me lead you into the fullness of the life I have prepared for you. The best is yet to come. Type Amen if you believe in Jesus.